sheriff's office. Time to wake up. Time to wake up. Hey guys. Yep, time to wake up, guys. Hey. The sheriff's office, wake up. A couple from Georgia was arrested on Saturday, 16th, 2024, in Volusia County, Florida, while on Daytona Beach after being discovered passed out drunk in the sand. Shockingly, their two young children were left unsupervised during this incident and nowhere to be found. An anonymous caller reported the couple to 911, and it took a deputy many attempts to wake them up. The deputies asked the couple about their kids, but they seemed clueless. At one point, the father even called out for the children at the water's edge. It's baffling that they would allow a five-year-old and a seven-year-old to wander off in such a state. Can you sit up? Come on, get up. All right. up. All Welcome right. back. Sit up. Why? Right. Why can't you have alcohol on the beach? Why not? You got ID? Uh, Do you have ID? Do you guys have children with you? Give him my ID or give him yours. Are they with you? Hey, your kids with you? Yes. Hey, Where are you your kids. kids. Right there. Here and here. Where's your ID? I don't have mine. I don't have So give him your ID. That's what he wants your ID. Are they right here? What's okay. Hey, where are they? Where are okay, they? Look at the kids. I got this. I'll go no. with him. You go. Okay. I'm gonna, I'll go with him. Tell me where your kids are. According to an arrest affidavit from the Volusia County Sheriff's Office, 27-year-old Timothy Stevens was charged with two counts of child neglect. According to deputies, an anonymous caller reported to officials that a male and female on the beach appeared to have too much to drink and were possibly passed out while having two children with them. Deputies were able to locate Stevens and his fiancée, Alicia Langley, sleeping on a towel on a Daytona beach. Deputies say there were two chairs set up around them, as well as various children's beach toys, but there were no children in the area. Deputies say they also located several empty cans of beer, a glass bottle of Crown Royal whiskey, and other unsealed alcoholic beverages. The couple were eventually arrested and charged with child neglect. I need you to come get the kids. Me and Timothy are both being arrested. Is somebody able to come get the kids? Come get the kids. Why am I being arrested? Me and both being fucking arrested. Uh, alcohol on the beach and the, child neglect. Can you tell them where we're at? Can you tell them where we're at? Yeah, sure, not allowed yeah. to have uh, any beer at the beach. beach right? it's, it's illegal. Huh? Yeah, it's illegal it's to have alcohol right. on the beach. Is it? Yes. I thought it was not oh, glass. Nope, glass is not allowed, but neither is alcohol. Can you please give me a Because what happens is people get drunk and then they drown in the ocean. I only have like two beers. Two is still illegal. Two is still illegal? <laughs> two is still illegal. No, the, this this lady is the only nice. Him, him, everybody else, we both go to fucking jail. He's gonna bond us out. No one. Exactly. No, my grandpa has to drive in eight hours to get the goddamn kid. No, no, I want to I wanna listen to what my grandpa has to say. I want to make sure my kids are fucking taken care of. I don't, we can hold on the window. I'm sorry, but we can hold on the window. Window. him and him, I don't trust I don't trust them, no. In the truck. She said in the truck. Can you just wait? Can you just wait? Can you just wait? I, I want to make sure my kids are fucking We're going to make sure they're taken care of. Okay, so tell them to come over here and let me listen to what my grandpa is saying. He's writing down the message right now. And the, I can't okay. hear nothing. In the truck. I'm telling you to get in the truck, and I'd like you to get in yourself. So I want you to make sure my kids are in the truck. I will be in the truck. Where are my kids going to go? I'm going to the Family Resource Center. So they're going to take care of them. They'll feed them. They'll clothe them. And they'll be comfortably waiting until your phone number. Was it father or grandfather or what? Okay? We need you to get in the truck. Okay? You want to draw this up too long. You said you want to get this over with. Let's try to get this over with. Okay? You got it? 
Furthermore, according to the affidavit states that deputies attempted to talk to the couple to wake them up, but when that didn't work, they began to nudge Stephen's arm. When the couple still wouldn't wake up, deputies began to yell, which finally woke the two up. According to deputies, both were in a state of confusion. Deputies asked the couple if they had children with them, and it was eventually revealed that they did. When asked where they were, Stevens could not point out specific children or give their exact location, the affidavit states. Deputies then escorted the couple to a nearby pool, where the Volusia County Sheriff's Office said their 5-year-old and 7-year-old were swimming unsupervised. The children were unharmed and healthy, according to the affidavit. According to deputies, the children are not biologically related to Stevens, but Langley said he shares the responsibility of the children with her. Deputies say Stevens assumed a legal guardian role of the children and for this reason, had a responsibility to ensure their safety while at the beach. The affidavit reads, Deputies say he was passed out unconscious, with no idea as to the children's whereabouts or safety on a crowded beach. Officials also noted there was no lifeguard in the area. Both Stevens and Langley were placed under arrest for two counts of child neglect and possession of alcohol on the beach. While deputies attempted to gather more information from Stevens, they said he unexpectedly ran away. During the pursuit, deputies say Stevens tripped and landed in the hard, packed sand. He had to be transported to a local hospital after becoming unconscious. He was eventually released from the hospital and transported to jail without incident, deputies say. Stevens is also facing charges for the attempted escape. This incident is a stark reminder that responsible parenting is crucial, especially when it comes to the safety and well-being of our children. Thanks for watching and we appreciate you. Let me know what you think and leave a comment below. We would like to inform you that we upload new videos frequently in a week. Click the like button and the notification bell if you like the video.